In this video, what I want to do is take a little bit of an aside here and look at sketching three graphs uh, that involve e to the x. So I wanted you to see kind of how we would sketch these three. So let's look at the first one, y is equal to 3 e to the x. The easiest way to do this is really to consider graph transformations. What does that number 3 in front of the e to the x do? What is it doing? Well, it's stretching the curve in the y direction, or parallel to the y axis. So it's stretching it upwards. And, okay, so if I was going to sketch this, what I would probably do is I would, first of all, sketch y is equal to e to the x. So there's my y is equal to e to the x. And then if I stretch this in the y direction by a factor of 3, instead of going through 1, it'll go through 3. Okay? And this part of the curve will be slightly above it as well. Okay? Well, three, 3 times as high. So this would be y is equal to 3 e to the x, and that would be y is equal to e to the x. Okay? So that's how you could sketch that one. Let's look at the second one, y is equal to 5 e to the minus x. Let's think about what that 5 does. Well, in a similar way to the 3, the 5 is stretching the curve in the y direction by a factor of 5. The minus sign in front of the x means that all the x-coordinates have changed sign. And so what that means is that if you've got an x-coordinate at, say, 3, 4, then it's become minus 3, 4. Okay, so the x-coordinates have changed sign. And so this must be a reflection in the y-axis. So not only has my original curve of y is equal to e to the x, been stretched upwards, but it's also been reflected in the y-axis. And so, although it would originally go through 1, it would now be going through 5, but would be coming from this direction instead. Okay? So this would be y is equal to 5 e to the minus x. So think of that minus x as being a reflection in the y-axis there. For number 3, y is equal to 4 plus 2e to the x. Well, first of all, the y is equal to e to the x would look like this, okay, roughly. Let's give myself a little bit more room. Now, the 2 in front of the e to the x is stretching the graph in the y direction by a factor of 2. The plus 4, now that is a translation. That's a translation by the vector 0, 4. And so it's picking the graph up and moving it 4. So, what we've got here is a curve that was going through 2, has been picked up and moved translated by 4 in the, in the y direction, and so we'll now be going through 6. Okay? Now, this curve had a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. If the whole curve has been translated 4 in the y direction, so is the asymptote. And so there is an asymptote, now at y is equal to 4, rather than y is equal to 0. Okay? So this would be y is equal to 4 plus 2 e to the x. So they take a little bit of thought, um, and they take a little bit of practice, but once you get your head around the graph transformations and what these little bits mean, it doesn't really become too bad. Okay? So that's how we can sketch each of these. So let's just put on that that's 6 there. Okay?